What's up everyone? It's your girl Jay and today I'm bringing to you a new LP, The Vixen. This series follows lost soul Giselle Owens. Her mother is an addict that cares about nothing else than getting her fix. So Gigi has been forced to raise her younger sister since the day she was born. Her father has been in jail since her younger sister came into this world. So she's basically been on her own, taking care of herself and her sister, being a parent to her sister, working to pay bills in the house, and trying to keep her mother sober, which is just not working out. Her mom is pretty much a lost cause at this point. Giselle wants to break away from all of this madness to finally go live her own life and she's pretty much at her wit's end. So I wanted to live out one day, just one, in this family dynamic before Giselle breaks away to go finally start her life and go find herself. But not everything that glitter is gold. And Giselle has a lot of personal issues on her own from the lack of guidance and not having a father and having to see her mother crumble and... Just the fact that she's never had anyone to look up to or aspire to be or show her the way or anything. She already has a better head on her shoulder than her mom, in my opinion, though, because she is working and paying bills and taking care of her sister. But she's sick of it. She's just completely tired of it. So I wanted to start off the LP in this household by showing you her toxic, dysfunctional family dynamic. But the main premise of this LP is that Giselle is going to end up being a woohoo worker, which is, you know, you know, use your imagination. So I did want to put out a disclaimer that we're going to be playing with mods that contain mature themes and mature content. I'll be censoring as much naughty stuff as I can, but we're going to be using mods such as Wicked Whims, Sugar Life, Red Apple Net, Ho It Up, and a bunch of other mods that I will link in a post in the description box so that way you guys can find all the links in one place. I do have sort of an introductory video where I tweak the family and cast and I make a shelter and all this stuff. So if you wanna know more about the family, you can check that video out for background info and more context. But before we get into the good stuff, feel free to show some love downstairs by liking the video for me and comment down below anything you want for your chance to be featured in our gang 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 shout out. Also subscribe to become part of the gang because we have a lot of fun on this channel if you can't already tell. So I'll do a brief tour of their home. It's 5 a.m., so it's still super dark out. But this is the trailer that they live in here. Since Gigi's mom struggles with addiction, getting them a nice house was never really a priority. So they live in this little trailer, a one-bedroom trailer. Through here is the room, and oh, she's up. This is Gigi's little sister, Isabel. And this is the room that she shares with her mom sometimes, but that's when her mom finds her way to the bed. Most nights she's up all night on some stuff or she's passed out on the couch or on the floor or by the toilet. <laughs> but there is only one room, so this is Gigi's little corner of the universe right here. It is like a, basically a little cubby, like a nook. A nook transformed into a little bedroom area. Not even, like a little Harry Potter closet or something. <laughs> so yeah, this is where Gigi sleeps. And this is her view of the trailer park here. And this is her little stuff right here. Her piggy bank that she's been collecting all of her savings in. A little chest there, nothing special, just with her hair, makeup, stuff, whatever. And back there is her camera. Gigi likes to take photos and she likes to write. Moving on, we have the living room area and then the kitchen and a coffee machine since Gigi has a love for coffee. And then through here is the bathroom, just a small little bathroom so they have a super janky apartment as you can see and this is Caitlin Isabel and Giselle's mother she looks crazy right now she has tiger pox or something clearly but yeah Ugh. this is Caitlin she is an addict and yeah you can see that she barties hardy oh Gigi is, is she off to work okay good because she was running late so she works at a coffee shop and she basically supports the family because 
her mom can never keep a job. She just try and every so often she'll pretend to get her life together, but then she always falls off the wagon, loses her job, and relies heavily on Gigi, so Gigi hasn't been able to really get anywhere in life. But let me read you the traits for The Sims. Caitlyn is materialistic, lazy, ADHD, arrogant, cognitively impaired, non-committal, and then she has all these other traits from mods. Giselle's traits are goofball, ADHD, language savant, which is from the language barriers mod, and a caffeine addict to go along with her coffee persona. Let's also set pregnancy wish and put does not want pregnancy. Straight up. She raised her sister. She's not trying to raise anybody else. Here's Isabel writing in her journal. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, no, she's sick. She's pretty much always sick. <laughs> Gigi has to take her to the freaking doctor. Oh, my God, there was speed underneath that freaking plate. The apartment's pretty gross. Is Izzy cleaning? Aw, Dito, she has to clean up for her mom. Yeah, because the mom doesn't do anything. Oh, Giselle is back. Let's see. She has... $1,140 in her bank account. And she brought home only 56 bucks. Oh my God, that's horrible. I mean, it's only like two hours of work, I think. Gigi has a piggy bank here in the corner that she has $875 in. And she's been saving it up so that she can get a place for her and her sister. So between this and what she has in her account, she has about two grand, which is good to find a place. I feel like we need at least like 2,500 to 3,000 to find a place. So she's saving up and her birthday is actually tomorrow on Friday. Oh man, I'm just having her stand here. <laughs> she has to make breakfast for her sister. All right, come over here and cook a family size serving of eggs and toast. She's like, Izzy, get in the shower. It's almost time for school and you're still looking a mess. And Izzy's like, I want to talk to mom. I want to be with mom. Okay, she's like, good. She went to the shower. She really doesn't even care, Caitlyn. She will do what she does right in front of her kid. She really doesn't give a shit. She smokes, drinks, and does this all the time. But when she is lucid, she tries not to do it in front of her kid, even though it still usually happens. Oh, no, it's time for her doctor's appointment. Let's say go later because she still has to cook her sister breakfast. Oh, sh Look at her. She's smoking a joint while she's cooking breakfast for her little sister. Like, so nonchalantly, too, because her mom has just normalized drinking and getting wasted in general. She doesn't mind at all. Oh, no. It seems like everybody's sick in the house. Ew, she's sneezing all over the eggs and toast, girl. You better stop. Oh, no. Gigi's going to have Izzy late for school Again, this happens a lot, but Gigi's motto is better late than never. <laughs> as long as Isabel gets to school in general, Gigi's happy. Oh no, <laughs> did you see her? She is so baked cooking this. I can't cook while I'm baked because I mess up a lot. <laughs> okay, cool, now she can serve her sister. So Isabel is eating her breakfast and watching her morning cartoons or whatever the her mom got her watching. <laughs> and yeah, she's just nonchalantly getting her nutrition in while her mom's stuff is just all out in the open, like nothing. Okay, and while your sister eats, you need to pack y'all lunches. Well, I don't know if she's going anywhere, but let's pack a lunch for your sister. So let's have a quick meal and we'll put a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but we're not going to eat it. We're going to pack it into this lunch box for her sister to take with her to school. Okay, so pack food and we'll pack the peanut butter and jelly. Oh, I put it in the wrong one. Gosh darn it. I meant to put it in this one. Can I just move it like that? Yeah, I can. Okay, yeah, it's in the pink one. Okay, so Isabel, darling, I don't know why you are still in your pajamas. I told her to get in the shower and she's I don't even think she showered. Get changed, get your lunchbox, and get to school. She's only three hours late. It's only a matter of time before she starts getting truancy letters from her school like Giselle used to get all the time when she was a kid because she never went to school. Gigi and her mom were in court like every other month for her absences. All right, let's get this mail. What do we have here? Oh, some medicine for everybody being sick. 
Sleeping pills? Come on, Caitlin. Oh, Gigi's oh, mom ordered no. sleeping pills. She's like, she would. Or you know what? She's just going to smoke another joint because she's already stressed out. She's pissed off because she gets, oh no, and Tom Peeping just popped up behind us. But Gigi's pissed off because she gets no help with her sister. Like, why should Gigi have to be late for work, her sister be late for school, she had trouble making them both breakfast, and by the time she packed her lunch and got her sister out the door, she was three hours late for school, and her mom just sat there the whole time. And this is exactly what Gigi has been dealing with since the day Isabel was born. And Gigi herself was a child. I would say she was about 10 when Izzy was born. Who is this and who are you and why are you talking to me? No, actually, Gigi is extremely boy crazy, like extremely, so... We should introduce ourselves to him. She wants to meet all the guys. So that leads me to Gigi's aspiration is mind broken. And I believe this is from Nisa's Wicked Perversions. Mind broken. This sim already thinks about woohoo, but other things too. That's the problem. This sim doesn't want to think about other things, just woohoo. And you can see the trait is a woohoo addict. <laughs> The actions you take have consequences and your repeated attempts to destroy your brain and hyper-focus on one thing has left your biology changed forever. You have a severe woohoo addiction. Oh my god, I didn't even read this when I first clicked it, but we're gonna click between that and we will probably do some other aspirations in the meanwhile just to gain points here and there like loved ones and just different things you know because that's how I usually play just switching back and forth rather than focusing on one I just get the points from each, but this is gonna be her main one. So she wants to flirt with 10 Sims and flirt 15 times. So I feel like this plays into our story because Gigi craves attention and assurance and affection and love because she's never received it as a child or a teen or ever really because her mom was always too worried about her next fix and her father left when she was extremely young. Even though her memories of him were good. She knows that he was a good man but he did bad things and he was taken away from her at a young age because he went to jail. Isabel doesn't even remember him, that's how long ago it was. But in Isabel's mind, she thinks the world of him and she thinks her dad is some great guy and one day he is gonna come back to her, which is so sad. Let's have Gigi come change out of her work clothes. Actually, I think she should jump in the shower. Take a thoughtful shower. Oh, let's give that stuff to our mom. Let's see. The sleeping pills. And then we have cough medicine and elixir, but that is for her and her sister. So I think she should take the cough medicine. And then she'll give the elixir to her sister. If she is allowed no, to take it because she's a child, I don't know. Miss Caitlin is just smoking a cig. She's probably high as hell. I do want to note that once Gigi leaves from here, she doesn't really plan on looking back when it comes to her mom. So this is not going to be an everyday thing. I just wanted to play out one day in the household so we could all kind of get a feel for the toxicity that they live in. Oh, she's uh. cursing and stuff. Oh my goodness. Let's complete our bicycle registration so that we can ride our bike places. Isabel got sick and threw up in the hallway in front of a bunch of other students. She's with the nurse now. Do a thorough health check. Oh my gosh. Poor Isabel, so she really was sick. And we sent her to school like that anyway. Oh my God, now Jeezy feels like a douche. All right, Caitlin, take one of these sleeping pills and then go to bed. She'd be too hopped up on speed that she's up for days at a time and doesn't sleep. And then think she needs pills when really she should just probably stop doing speed. Oh, Caitlin just got a call from an employer and it says, regarding your application to work with us, we're sorry to inform you that you've not been selected for an interview. Best regards. Uh, it's not a surprise. Her look is giving very crackhead energy, you know? So I'm not surprised people don't want to hire her. <laughs> All right, Gigi's going to get out of here for a little bit. Let's travel. And we are going to call her little boyfriend, Jordan, and we're gonna go somewhere. So Jordan is Gigi's boo, but they are not official. Using the open love mod, they have an open relationship where they're non-exclusive. And she's off. Jordan, we'll see you there. So they're gonna meet at the McDonald's in San Myshuno. I'm not sure who built this McDonald's lot, but I've never actually been to it before. It just came with this save file. So this is her boo, Jordan. He's so cute, right? He also came with the save file. <laughs> Where? Aww. 
He's like, hey, boy, hey. Like I said, they are in a non-exclusive relationship. So let's click on Jordan and open the sim profile. It says that they are lovebirds and that she perceived him as extremely attractive. And that's funny because I didn't set that. As soon as I put them on the same lot together, they fell for each other instantly. Giselle and Jordan are together in a non-exclusive relationship. Let's ask him for reassurance because she's had a really bad day. And even though she doesn't want to be committed to anyone because she has issues with commitment, being as no one was ever really there for her, so she doesn't want to get attached to anyone for fear of being hurt. She still loves to have Jordan around her. And she loves getting the attention from him and the smooches and the cuddles, but she just doesn't want the exclusivity. She wants to be able to do her. We took the medicine and we're still not feeling better passionate romance let's freaking just make out with him like we freaking missed you our mom is getting on my last nerve they are so cute together they really like each other obviously look at that oh yeah <laughs> okay while they're doing that let's look at the mcdonald's oh cool <laughs> We didn't even look at it. That's so awesome. Oh my goodness. They have a whole menu here. Wow. That is so cool. I love realistic stuff like this. I actually did a whole touring realistic fast food builds video. Check that out. <laughs> wow, so freaking awesome. All they're missing is the play place. Let's see, can they come over to this patch of grass? Yes, they can. All right, let's put walk here together. Oh, she's burning up. I really wish she wasn't sick for all of this right now. It's her birthday tomorrow too, so she definitely wants to do something. It doesn't have to be anything too special, especially because she doesn't want to splurge or spend the money. She's really trying to save for a place. As long as she can get a one bedroom or even just a studio, she'll take in her sister. But deep down inside, Gigi does resent her sister just a little bit because she basically was forced to grow up and be her mother. And she never asked for that. She never asked for her sister to be here. She never asked for that responsibility, but it fell on her because if it wasn't for her, her sister would have been taken away, you know? So Giselle felt like it was her obligation to take care of Isabel, but she didn't necessarily want to. She was basically a single mom to her younger sibling. I want them to try this cuddle while cloud gazing. It's a so cute cool. little mod that kind makes the cloud gazing romantic, Sweet. even though there are no clouds. There's airplanes though, that's pretty cool. How there are airplanes but no airport? Oh yeah, they're doing it. Oh, too bad he's the little spoon. Oh, they're so cute together. I love them. I'm gonna take pictures of them. Look how absolutely adorable they look. I'm so in love. But tell me Gigi's teeth are not yellow, right? Please tell me that because that'd be so embarrassing. Like, bitch, please go wash your mouth. They're so freaking cute. Yes, oh my god, her teeth are gross. That is so nasty. Please get up, Gigi, like right now. <laughs> Tell Jordan goodbye. It's about that time, sis. Let's give him a goodbye kiss and depart. Oh my god, would he even want to kiss us? What if he, oh my god, what if, he, what if he's grossed out after kissing us? Ew. I should have thought that through. Oh my god, she's pissed. She has wet clothes. Ew low hunger and she's still feeling kind of sicky no wonder she's in a bad mood all right well she's gonna leave jordan anyway it's starting to get dark and oh Gigi has her bike so now she's not trying to walk nowhere <laughs> but Gigi is heading home from the mcdonald's and from hanging out with jordan and she drives past this place and she's seen it and she knows that it is a homeless shelter. But she doesn't know exactly how it works. And on her way home, she's just thinking about how she would rather be homeless than to have to go home to Caitlyn's trailer every night. She's about had it with Caitlyn. And like I said, she low-key resents her sister for everything that she's had to sacrifice to be there for her, even though it's not her kid. So it should have never been her responsibility. But Gigi can't help that. This is just the way that it worked out. And even though she loves her sister so, so, so much, she just wants out. She just wants a normal life. And she wants the chance to be free and independent and not have to worry about 
Whether or not she has enough money for groceries to make sure her little sister doesn't starve and get taken away. So at this point, as much as she does love Isabel, she wants to put herself first and think of herself and be selfish and just for once in her life say, Isabel, man, fuck them kids, I'm out. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the house, Caitlin is still being Caitlin and she notices she's running low on her stash. But the family is only down to 47 simoleons because she had to pay a couple people off and she did buy a little extra. So she did a little extra. And now she's not only completely dead broke, but she's almost out of her fix. And she can't go without or else she might go through withdrawal. And that is dangerous, not only for herself physically, but for anyone around her. So she's going to start getting pissed off and irritable and it's just not going to be good. Well, Gigi stepped out for a minute. Caitlyn doesn't know where she went, but she's going to take the opportunity to come over here and try to steal some of Gigi's money. What did Gigi have in there? Like 800 bucks? I don't know. I don't remember. She doesn't remember. She's just going to take as much as she can before Gigi gets inside. Oh, no. Gigi's right there. She stole it right in front of her. No way. Did Gigi see? Okay, I hope not. Let's make her brush her teeth already, actually, because what the hell? Okay, we're gonna send Caitlyn off to score. Go visit friends. This is her boyfriend. He sells and also does, but mostly sells. <laughs> so she's gonna go pay him a little visit and go score. All right, now that Gigi's finally brushed her freaking teeth, I want her to come over here and bake a cake. It's her birthday tomorrow, so she's going to bake her own cake. <laughs> if she doesn't, she won't get a cake. Because chances are that her mom has no idea what date it is even, so she has no idea that it's her daughter's birthday tomorrow. Let alone her 18th birthday, like the big young adult birthday. She's like, what? I have a daughter? Two? You see her just smoking a joint while she's baking her cake. Is she going to throw some bud in the cake? Oh my god, why are you okay, sis? <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> you better get over here and resume this birthday cake. It's not gonna bake itself, bitch. You can't just sit there and get baked and not bake the cake. I meant to bake the cake, not yourself, GG. Oh yeah, I have to give her sister her medicine. There we go. What? It says she's okay all of a sudden? What the heck? Okay, so then Gigi could take this. It says she doesn't need it either? That's just preposterous. I'm starting to freaking get irritated. You better bake this damn cake, ho. She's trying to get excited for her birthday, but she still looks sad. It's all right, Gigi. She's like, I'm almost 18. I'm almost out of this bitch. My mom can't force me to do anything I don't want to anymore. I'm going to move out on my own. And as soon as I can, I'm going to come back for my sister. And I'm going to take my sister and we're going to have a good life in our apartment. She is going to have to look for a new job, though, because she's not going to be able to afford an apartment on that barista salary. I'm going to add birthday candles. And she's going to call Jordan and her cousin over, Nicolette. They all have, like, French names. It's kind of late, though. I hope she'll come. Okay, Jordan's coming. And Nicolette said she'd come. Yes. Well, Nicolette is here. Yes, now we can blow out the candles. Is it almost midnight? Yes, it is. So this is Gigi's cousin, Nicolette. Let me make sure that the relationship is set. Let me see. Open sim profile. Yeah, cousin. Her mom is Caitlyn's sister. And she normally doesn't like Nicolette to come over here, but she loves her cousin. All right, let's blow out the candles. I wonder why she's always cursing. She's a potty mouth. All right, she's blowing out the candles. Oh, where's the animation? Did it glitch? I think it did. <laughs> Giselle aged up. Now let's pick a trait for her. Let's see. She has ADD. She gets that from her mom. She's a goofball, coffee addict. She wants to be a language savant. Oh, wow. I forgot about these traits. We'll make her non-committal also like her mom. So Gigi's officially an adult. She's like, yes, now as soon as I save up enough money, I'm freaking out of here. I know it's really gross in here. It's kind of embarrassing that we brought Jordan here, but he knows how we live. <laughs> and he still loves us. Caitlyn's man is here, so she can score again. Perfect. Gigi's like, what the fuck, 
You brought Greg over here during my little birthday party with my cousin and my boyfriend. Are you serious, Mom? She's like, get over it. We'll go outside. And she'll get a couple bags. I'm going to control these Sims real quick so that way I can help trudge the story yeah. along. So Nicolette and Jordan both come from wealthy families. Yeah. Giselle lives in a trailer park. But these two, they have nice houses and they live nice lives. And they love Gigi no matter what. They don't care that she's trailer trash. So let's go to Friendly and we're going to give a gift of simoleons. Now her sister's family is pretty well off. So she's going to give her cousin 500 bucks. Like this is from mom and dad. They send their love, but you know, they never step foot in this apartment. <laughs> And then Jordan is also going to give his boo some money because he knows that she's been saving up. He's only going to give 100 though, because he don't got it like that, like that. And this is coming out of his pocket, not his parents, like Nicolette's. <laughs> but he's like, something is better than nothing. I want you to have this baby. And look at Caitlyn back there acting like she didn't just steal her money. Like, oh, so that's $600 in birthday money. Yay. Well, screw it. Since her mom's dealer boyfriend is here anyways, let's just get something off of him. He got a fatty. I don't know why his ass so fat. All right, she's going to say goodnight to everyone because she does have work in the morning. So thank you all for coming. I'll see you guys tomorrow. She's just going to clean up a little bit so that way it's not so filthy when she has to make breakfast tomorrow. Or in a couple hours, actually. Maybe she should just make breakfast for her sister now. Actually, Gigi's like, sorry, Izzy, it's going to be a cereal kind of day for you. She's just like, why is her freaking boyfriend still here being weird? I don't even think he gave us our bud. Like, bro, make yourself useful. All right, let's see. Let's get the northern lights. Perfect. Oh, and there was some leftovers from yesterday, so we don't have to make our sister breakfast. So Greg left. Gigi's taking a little nap before her shift. And her sister is up eating breakfast, so we're going to have to pack her something for lunch. See, Caitlin's knocking out. Let's read some of her buffs. Coming down. Hungover. Need nicotine. Wet clothes. A little off. Addicted. Alcoholic. <laughs> tired. Top-notch caffeine. Someone lives here. Exposed. Needs amusement. Bubbles and cannot unsee. It's 5 a.m., but it says Gigi doesn't work for three days, and it's not calling her into work, sweet. So let's just get her up so she can get some stuff done, cause she just hates being here. Work is her saving grace. So she's gonna put her money in here that she got from last night. Let's add the money. It was $600. Oh, it's Easter day. So she's going to put her money in the jar, and now she sees that it's only $75. It's supposed to be $875. So she's realizing now that her mom must have stole $800 from her. And yeah, she's not going to take that. She is waking Caitlin up right the fuck now. Look at them. They already have a horrible relationship. She doesn't even call her mom. As you can tell, she just calls her Caitlin or Kate to piss her off. Go wake your mom up. Fight. Throw hands. Drama. Let's call her out. Look at her. She's like, I know you stole my sh And just shout forbidden words at her. Like, I'm tired of your fucking shit. I know you took it. And she's like, no, I didn't. Why would I touch your money? And Gigi's just gonna insult her. Like, you crackhead ass bitch. I'm fucking tired of you. I am done with you and your sh You are a pathetic excuse for a woman, a pathetic excuse for a mother, and I regret your decision to ever have me or Isabel. You should have swallowed us because you would have did us a fucking favor. And with that, Giselle is freaking done. Oh, look, her mom just goes to grab coffee like nothing. We'll put her to do a line while she's at it. And Giselle's like, really? Really, bitch? In front of your kid? Are you serious right now? Oh, she is freaking furious. Giselle's gonna freaking destroy her. There's something we can do. Slap drag, smash head, fight, croc, kitsch, hold hostage, punch. Does she want to punch her mom? 
Nonviolent. Steal money? Oh my god, let's do that. Let's try to fight our mom for our money back. Oh, she took something. I think she did take it. Oh, she's coming at her. But no, Gigi's had it. She's not taking it anymore. So we're going to make her a slap it out of her mom. Too bad she has to pee. She's probably going to pee herself during this argument. She's never laid a hand on Caitlyn, but she deserves it. Like, fuck you, you piece of... Yeah, that's right. That's right. And while mom is passed out, she can't even believe she freaking did that. And look at her sisters all freaked out. We're going to take our $75 from the piggy bank. Take our camera. Is anything inside of our book bag? No, there's nothing in there. Can we take our book bag? Yes, it fits in our inventory. Perfect. We're going to take our lunch box. I don't know if we'll need it. Our journal and our laptop. Actually, I feel bad. I feel like... Our sister's gonna need that laptop, so she's not gonna take it. That's pretty much all she freaking has. And she's going to go to Isabel, and we'll do a few little interactions here so that she can say goodbye to her sister because she's out. She's leaving. So we'll do a deep personal conversation. Then she'll give advice on how to handle her mom. Like, you'll be strong, kid. If I can do it, you can do it. Then we're going to hug her and just tell her, I'm so, so, so sorry, Hi, Isabel, Mila. for leaving you oh, in this situation. She's like, it's okay, sis. Oh, I know you tried. Get and she's just like, I love you so much, Isabel. I'll come back for you, I promise. Let's head to San Myshuno and go to that homeless shelter. So Gigi's here at the shelter. Let's check out this community board. Technically, it's a community lot space. She still has a coffee wow. Guess it's time to go in and sign up though, girl. Come view this stuff, grab a pamphlet if you want, and see if someone can assist you here at the desk. So it seems like they do have a bed for Gigi. Let's follow her back here. She's freaking so tired from the fight with her mom that she just wants to go to sleep. Okay, so here are the rooms. Why does this bed look so little? Oh, it's a toddler bed. What the hell's wrong with you, girl? But get some sleep, Gigi. You deserve it. I know she's just gonna sit there and probably have nightmares about what the hell just went down and the fact that she is really in a homeless shelter right now. All right, she's feeling a bit better. She still needs, like, medicine or a hospital or something. But instead, I'm just going to have her get changed really quick and go get some fresh air. She needs to process what the hell just happened, what she's doing with her life. Why does she keep doing that? I want to know why. The bank. She keeps, like, getting all up in nobody's face because nobody's there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what trait that could be. Oh, my God, she had... F in high school? How does she have an F and a C? Why in the world does it say that she cannot get past the beds? Is you dumb? Try now. Okay, better. So our girl Giselle's just having a grand old time on the swing. She is so freaking cute. She's trying not to think about anything, not to stress. Just enjoy the fresh air and the breeze. She could use a shower, but honestly, she's so afraid to shower in this place. It's more like a community center that offers housing. And it's good because people can get their life together here, you know, build their skills. They have access to the internet and resources. There's even a little child play corner over here. I didn't give like an actual tour, but here's the front office. Here's the cafeteria area, the kitchen a storage room and then back here we have more storage and where the trucks would drop some stuff off isn't that so cute and then yeah we have the kids corner the rec room the bedrooms the bathrooms it's co-ed and outside we have a small little park and then up top we have the community garden and some vendor tables here the festival of light has started come celebrate where oh that's here Cool. Come shower quick, Gigi, so you can go to the Festival of Light across the street. We'll make it a steamy shower, so hopefully she can get flirte. Let's see if she can take this medicine now, finally, too. No, it says she doesn't have a reason to. That is so cruel. Now let's come to the Festival of Light. Oh, who's this bartender? He is very handsome. What's up, Danny? Come introduce yourself to Mr. Danny. Oh my gosh, she just has a gun, this lady. She's like, back off, he's mine. <laughs> it's late, I should sleep. No. You should go to this festival of light. 
He's like, hello, handsome. <laughs> Let's flirt with him, throw it at him, see if he throws it back. Oh, I think he's reciprocating. Yay. Now we're at two out of ten Sims. We have to flirt with ten different Sims. Let's see if we can get one more flirt out of him. Like, call us. Whenever you want, hot stuff. Let's actually exchange numbers, too. Oh, yeah, it went well. We took each other's number. All right. Let's check out what else is going on here. There's a lot going on here. I'm impressed. We'll come over here and watch the show. This is nice to do by herself, honestly. So just hang out and enjoy something without having to worry about rushing home to her sister or not spending any money because she might need to buy something for her sister. And she's just carefree right now. She's definitely thinking that this was the best decision for her. Oh my god, no, don't eat one of those dishes, please, you'll die. I will, however, eat one of these. Free food, girl, you have to take advantage. <laughs> and who is this? Tina Tinker, a master crafter. She's running around looking like an elf. Oh, and smoking hookah. I really don't think I've ever used the hookah in this game. They should really make one small and table size. <laughs> Chain strain, you can smoke weed out of here? Oh, hells yeah, we're in business. So let's ask her about her costume. Like, what is up with that? <laughs> let's see, ask about taste. <laughs> oh, look, and she changed right then and there. And she's just like, oh, well, it's costume night down where we work. So we came here right before our shift. Oh, who is this fine gentleman? Tom Dorsett. We're literally trying to introduce ourselves and flirt with everybody. This girl's beautiful. This looks like Shaban, but it's, her name's Michaela. Michaela, wait a minute. That's Jordan's mom. No wonder I think that she looks good. <laughs> do I know her? Let's go to romance and just automatically flirt with this dude. Yeah, I do know her. Okay, yeah, that is Jordan's mom. Oh, he's throwing it back. Yes. I think we're gonna go back to the shelter to get some Z's. They be doing too much with these damn bikes. So Gigi's spending her first official night in the shelter. At least she's in a warm bed. She's safe. And she is definitely going to dream about her little sister tonight. But like I said, she's putting herself first now. She can't worry about her sister because if she does, she will never make it anywhere in life. She'll be stuck in the trailer park forever. And that is not going to be Giselle. She is not going to become her mother and she'll do whatever it takes to make sure that she makes it somewhere in life. Anywhere but the damn trailer park. <laughs> so that is the first episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your thoughts are about the LP below. And again, if you have any questions about mods that I mentioned or use, then go to the post linked in my description box. And I'm going to have a master post where you can find all the mods that I talk about here. But all right, guys, I think that is going to be it for part one. I hope y'all enjoyed and I hope you have a great rest of your night, day, morning. Thank you so much for tuning in. Feel free to show some love by liking, commenting, and subscribing to become part of the gang. Because we have a lot of fun on this channel, if you can't already tell. That's going to be it for me tonight. Peace and love.